My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb Jake. How was your West Coast trip? Jimmy, we went to Arizona. The whole company's there. We're having a good time. A lot of drinks, a lot of other stuff. And then I cooled down by going to Vegas for a friend's bachelor party. So Poppy Gordo is feeling good. How are you doing? Or did you just scratch? I had like a cyst pimple over here. It's like just like a <laughs> rock in my face. It's been about a month. I scratched that. It's unpoppable. Oh, oh, oh. stay like tuned. I don't think it's a pimple. <laughs> stay tuned for the I've end grown a rock in my face. Spring training was fun. Check out all the content. And baseball's back. Blitzball game of the century last oh night. Oh, my God. Make sure you go check that out on the Warehouse Games. It's the good stuff. Jake and I versus Trev and Vinny Rotino. It's the tops. Speaking of real sports, what did you just say about baseball? Jimmy, real sports. We have real sports today. There's a March Madness. We get there. We're kind of baseball people. Jim, everybody's signing the baseball chaos. We talked about look out for your shoulders. Trevor Story, Correa, Kenley Jansen. None to the Yankees. None to the Yankees. Not a nun to the Yankees. Sister Nadine was my favorite nun ever. Okay. I miss her. Uh, yeah, I mean, good for the Red Sox and Story and the Twins and Correa. Oh. Good Bad for the me. twins. <laughs> Get Correa for one year. You don't win. He opts out. He's gone. What are you doing? <laughs> Tough. Sorry to all our twins fans. Trevor Just Blue. a jealous Yankees fan. No, is we're all. not jealous. Why do you think we're jealous? I think we're jealous for all the talented players going to the other teams. <laughs> Enough with the sports. Good for baseball. Jimmy. Here's an almost a breakdown. This is one of your personal videos. Yeah, this is actually a video of you my nephew. This. Yeah. Uh, in You guys were in Costa Rica. Costa Rica. He's ziplining my nephew, ziplining, and runs into a sloth. No, almost a breakdown. I got bad news, Jake. We're being lied to here. The video's cool. He's on a zipline. Zipline's cool. I fell off one that I hung up myself when I was 14 in the woods in Connecticut. So I've kind of been scared of them, yeah. but this is a professional one. So they say this was a little risky for us coming in. There was a chance we were not going to like this. Video. All of a sudden he runs into a sloth. I don't like this video. They're hiding what happened. The video cuts. They don't show how the sloth gets off the zip line. And I oh, am no. suspect big time. You don't post this video you and think. intentionally cut out the moments. <laughs> you think we had a sloth toss? Oh, I just don't know. I just don't think you can cut it out. So that's my, I'm breaking down this video. Kid runs into the sloth. Dialogue's pretty good. He says, uh, it's a sloth. Yeah. It's a sloth. Tour guide says, yeah. 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 <laughs> sure is, kid. I just clocked it straight in the face. I just clocked it straight in the face. I, I really like the owners. It was Flavio Rama shout out ad for uh, Go Dot Adventure Park. So seven people went on that cable. There was no sloth on it. And within 30 seconds, a sloth got on the cable. Which makes me think he's running them too close together. 30 seconds oh, didn't okay. seem like a big enough interval. And how'd the sloth get off the zip line? You have to show it in the video. Jim, it says neither the child nor the sloth was hurt. Uh, I think they're saying like we didn't hurt the sloth, but it fell to its death or something like that. R.I.P. Mr. Sloth. So what's going on with March Madness? Jim. The Sweet 16, Gonzaga, Arkansas, Texas Tech, Duke, North Carolina, UCLA, Purdue, St. Peter's, Arizona, Houston, Michigan, Villanova, Kansas, Providence, Iowa State, Miami. I was going to bet on St. Peter's to cover this morning, but I forgot. They're like, it's like 12 and a half. Like, they're going to cover that. They're going to cover that. It's March Madness. Uh, St. Peter's is a story of the tournament. Kind of cool. We drive by there regularly. Yes, yes, yes. Did you hear the coach? Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Did you hear the coach was like, uh, oh, you Jersey strong. Like, everyone, a big Jersey guy. And he was like, oh, I'm from New York, but uh, yeah. cool. His press conferences have been electric. The last time a New Jersey team went to the Sweet 16, his school, Seton Hall. Seton Hall. He, uh, his press conferences, <laughs> the first game they won, they were like, you know, Coach, you seem pretty cool throughout it all. And he goes, yeah, it's basketball. <laughs> <laughs> Just such a dub in the face of his own sport. Uh, go St. Peter. Should we go there? Throw eggs at the building? No. Have them throw eggs at us? Yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Egg yes. dodge. I do that. I get hit with an egg once, didn't like it. Don't. I keep don't doing, start that. doing I did that twice now and it made me laugh both times. March is mad. So is uh, Jake's pubes right now, which is why he's going to trim them up. Are you serious? Yeah. Yep. My, my pubes do need to trim. See? Manscaped, lawnmower 4.0. Speaking of somewhere you shouldn't shave your pubes, it looks like we're going to school. An assistant principal fired after reading a children's book to class? Yeah, so as I know this story, the assistant principal kind of got sprung a Zoom meeting with kids upon him. They're like, hey, can you watch these kids over Zoom real quick? Just hang out with them. They're second grade students. Which is tough. You're assistant principal. You're doing nothing normally. Remember our principal in high school? 
Super red face. Yes. Like as red as a face can get. Like I have a red skin tone to my face. Yeah. This dude looked like <laughs> a cartoon where like the guy gets mad and his face turns red and like that was our principal. Which is a good principal look if we're being honest. The book was titled I Need a New Butt. And, and the cover of it looks like a children's book. Yeah. Pause. I'm going to find a PDF of this book. Why does the kid need a new butt? I kind of like need to read this book. The assistant principal, I grabbed one of my favorite books that I had nearby. I read it to them. It's a funny, silly book. This is a kid's YouTube where she reads the book. So why is he getting fired? It's a kid's book. I need a new butt. Ah. Why does the kid need a new butt? It looks like this is a Dr. Seuss ripoff, but instead of green eggs and hams, it's I need a new butt. So he's like a green butt, a blue butt. I don't know why he needs a new butt. Dog for sale. I need a new butt. He's selling his dog. All right. I mean, the kid's selling his dog for five bucks to buy himself a new butt. I'm kind of... Don't show me that. Maybe he should be fired. It seems like a fuck show book. That. Sorry, assistant principal. You're fired. I stand with Mississippi. He stands with Mississippi. Mississippi. One more time. Mississippi. All right, one more time. Mississippi. I had an Employee of the Week song, but I'm totally forgetting it. It's the Employee of the Week. That's a cool instrument. It's the Employee of the Week. <laughs> Zach, one of the original instruments. The it's paper. the Employee of the Week. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Mine's a little dainty with this hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Jim, this seemed like a layup. We haven't discussed this yet, but Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's is the employee of the week, and it's not even <laughs> debatable. For it's those that are not in up. the know, yeah. Joe's McFly got four guys traded. Messed up. Took pictures with four players, and they all got traded. He's one of the most powerful men in baseball. It's like Manfred Boris, 1A, 1B, and then Trader Joe's. <laughs> Good job, Joe's. Good job by Trader Joe's. Getting people traded. And he's got a lot of people like, you know, they didn't get traded in the offseason, but they're still able to get traded once this season and yes. trade deadline comes. Like, J-Rim, watch out. Sessa, watch out. And Trader Joe's called the Blitzball game last night. That was a weekly dumb! Today's episode was brought to you by Manscaped. It is time to take care of your downstairs. Your skin, your hair, and your balls deserve it. Save big by going to manscaped.com and for 20% off and free shipping, use the code DUMB20. That's code DUMB20 at manscaped.com. It's time to get wet and clean with your new Manscaped shower routine. Where are you at with sloths? I don't. Because like they're ba- not a full rodent. It's like bacon for me. Slow. It's like when bacon jumped the shark and was like, bacon and everything. That's how sloths are. Like uh, Kristen uh, Bell. Now, Kristen Bell was big in the sloth. She cried. Yeah. You know what? My wife loves sloths, so maybe that's why. Oh, okay. Like, we have a sloth pillow. We have a sloth stuffed animal. Oh, so you're kind of in the sloth game. Well, that's no. Huge. My house is. It's like, ugh, they're gross. <laughs> a little bit. They're disgusting. They don't clean. And they do nothing. They do nothing.